Uh, hi, I'm Mike the Ente, and a little later than usual, reacting to Alpharad's video about stuff. Um, based on the title alone, I imagine that this is going to be like some kind of crazy Nuzlocke with a bajillion hardcore rules. I bet he's going to beat it because he's very good. We'll see what happens. Pokemon Nuzlocke are not easy, as they're riddled with seemingly random impossibilities that have plagued me, Wolfie, Jaden, and several Pokekeepers out there. But the scariest part is the one thing we all have in common. None of us- Uh, none of them have enough subscribers. ...are safe from him! Oh, but if you have- Oh, yeah. So, a couple things. Number one, you can play better. <laughs> I feel like you do need a certain level of skill to pull off a cockiness like that. All right, chill out, please. Jesus Christ, man. That's me. That's literally me. This is the reason that I recommend Fire and Lifkin for your first games, because even if you play like that, you can beat that game. This. So, um, he's probably going to explain it, but too bad. I'm going to explain it anyway. As a React tuber, I must provide some kind of additional. <laughs> uh, this person right here, his name is Pokemon Challenges, and he tends to. He's. Um, he has a lot of experience nuzlocking, and so he does a lot of React videos. He, like, reacts to people doing nuzlocks even more than me. So, yeah. Um, but he's, like, actually good at Pokemon. So he does that and uh, tends to be very critical of people. I tend to be more amazed by people because, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not very good. But that's a thing, you know? Sometimes I like to, I will learn from these nuzlocks. Um, and give critiques. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be doing things. Yeah. Completely unknown YouTuber. Pokemon Challenges has apparently made a career from atop his tower built upon thousands of hours of nuzlocking. And out of sheer spite, I set out on a journey to attempt the perfect nuzlocke, not only to redeem my first run, but to prove that nuzlocking is really easy if you're willing to be really boring. So I went and studied through all of the nuzlocking resources I could, from the best starter to the best team to even this lonely wizard's personal preferences. I was ready now for the I love cat boys. So I grabbed Pokemon Leaf Green and set out to complete the perfect nuzlocke with everything he could ever ask for. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Oh god. So I'm pausing the video, Yawn, and now it's time to start the perfect nuzlocke. Our journey starts like any other. Named our player Alpha, named our rival Jan, and chose the best possible starter for our nuzlocke. Oh, and this run is gonna feature a few custom rules. Ignoring the obvious ones, battle mode is on set, level caps are in play, and items are banned. So when it came time for our So those are the um, normal hardcore nuzlocke rules. Um, level caps meaning you can't have a Pokemon that is above the level of a gym leader before you beat that gym leader. So for instance, Brock, I think has level level 14 Pokemon. You can't have anything above level 14 until you beat Brock in this game. There are actually some other rules, um, the hardcore plus rules, which some people implement like banning setup moves such as Swords Dance and also level capping for boss fights such as rivals and evil team leaders rather than just gym leaders. First battle, it sure happened. Wait, he's faster. It was a speed time. <laughs> Not the first time this has happened. Um, attempt to, baby. I don't, but that doesn't sound like a perfect Nuzlocke to me. If you're watching on my channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. It helps out a lot. But if you're watching on someone else's channel who is shamelessly reacting to it, leave them. Leave them. Leave them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know. How to, I can't combat with that. Subscribe to Alpha Rad. Over here. Drop a like. Leave a subscription. You're welcome here. And be sure to let me know in the comments which channel you abandoned. <laughs> Thanks. So on the message. Yeah, make sure to shout me out in the comments. <laughs> Tim Funko Pop 4 stormed through that puny Charmander. And we set off to capture our first encounter, a Rattata named Diddy Kong. And he has guts. Mankey's also a good catch, but essentially fodder for later. Then after catching Switch Sports, the Pidgey, our team looked good. At this moment, I started thinking about what our team would look like for the Elite Four and came up with an idea. Two separate teams. I'll start collecting the strongest encounters I possibly can in preparation for the end game, but then keep them safe in the PC in order to protect them while beating the rest of the game with, uh, well, whatever else I find. So I'm looking online, right? And I think our best catch would be a Pikachu, but there's only like a 5% chance of that. <laughs> the Alfred the luck coming in. One oh no, it's time for the first gym leader and we're underleveled. Whatever shall we do? Take the rook candy pill. Long story short, grinding is cringe and cheating is based. And True. this rock fight will be brought to you by Honey. If you don't have one of the starting sweepers, this is the... Yeah, in case you're unaware, um, watching this video, a lot of people, when they nuzlocke, um, when they do hardcore nuzlocks especially, will use tools such as PK Hex in order to increase the levels of their Pokemon without having to spend all that time grinding or uh, hacking items that 
you would normally have to farm for potentially for hours to make things much easier and focus the challenge on the skill of actually playing through the battles. Hardest fight of the year of the game. But luckily, I have the best of the best, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's Vine Whip can one-shot rocks Geodude and Onyx. However, he leads with Geodude, which allows for the potential Bulbasaur sweep. Sort of how Honey allows you to save money by pressing a single button at the top of your browser. This free online shopping tool automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. I need to hit the enemy Geodude so it can die a quick and painless death, and I achieve that by playing the game as intended. Almost as convenient as Honey, which works on most of the sites you're already using. Since I know you're buying things online, why not save some money while doing it? Are you really going to act like you don't feel a bit of a rush when saving a little money? With Geodude's full depleted health I can yeah continue Brock is really easy if really you have Bulbasaur is not just the insane or Squirtle but also Onyx's horrendous speed unlike the speed of honey which saves you money near instantly <laughs> we can then take the free kill on Onyx here's a question Onyx what has your decent own money speed and for the Bulbasaur have in common that's right it actually outspeeds the Bulbasaur here Pokemon cards online Brock then gives us our first gym badge which made me really happy much like how you can make my sponsors very happy by going to join honey.com slash alpha rad or by clicking the link in the description to start using honey and start saving money today thank you to Bulbasaur for enabling <laughs> Otherwise, an incredibly hard to achieve zero death Brock. And thanks to Honey True. for sponsoring this video. <laughs> yeah, Brock is so tough. Yo. I already have a very good phone. Unfortunate. Ivysaur later and it's time to spend a Route 4 encounter on a gifted magic card. Throughout Mount Moon, we have to pick some key items, but the cave itself went by fairly quick. Our next stop was Cerulean City, which features the second gym and a feared rival battle. And it's pretty hard for where we're at. I know they open with Pidgeotto, but what do we have? Oh, we have Pikachu. Let me guess. He's going to do the gym first and then allow himself to overlevel for the rival fight. So this No, he's just going to the rival now. fight. Okay. We open with Pikachu. Actually didn't think that far ahead. One by one, his team fell. Look, I know you want to see the YOLO yeehaw reckless gameplay that lost my randomized run, but don't worry. I'll start throwing for confidence again soon. But first, I need to prove how easy this baby game truly is. After a mere morsel of cheating, we were ready to tackle Missy's gym with the utmost of confidence. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Two badges down, and I was hungry for a third. But first, we had to conquer Nugget Bridge, assist Bill in his fetish dungeon, and sprint down to Vermilion City. In desperate need of a ground type for Lieutenant Surge, I went to Diglett Cave, and unfortunately... Someone's gonna die here. Um, P he's, he's gonna start Pikachu... And then he's going to get arena trapped, and then Pikachu's going to die to magnitude, like, 10 or something. Only caught a duck tree who was well above her level cap. Uh, oh, that's fine, actually. Not I mean, duck trio, obviously you can't use it for surge, but, like, it's a really good Pokemon to have for random trainers. can outspeed a lot of things, and it can one-shot a lot of things. I don't know when you get Earthquake, though, actually, so it might be a little too risky to have magnitude uh, duck trio out for the mid-game. Only is our rival ready to throw down, but this is the exact same fight where we lost our first soldier in the previous run. Making it through this unharmed would not only show my growth as a trainer, but more importantly, my resolve to be the pettiest Nuzlocker imaginable. But this run is far from over. With the third gem in our immediate path, it was time to endure the worst fucking stupid bullshit goddamn puzzle ever conceived by man. But before we were ready to battle Lieutenant Surge, we had to poison our beloved Eradicate, which might sound odd, but hey, so does Guts. I definitely lose. Yeah. So, Guts, um, if a Pokemon is burned or poisoned, and I believe asleep too, no, paralyzed, uh, maybe asleep, I don't know, but definitely the, those other three, your attack stat is doubled, and that leads to some insane combos, because a lot of Pokemon teams are, especially from the AI, not built to withstand Guts Raticate. Guts Raticate is really strong, and he's really fast, and he gets some good stab normal moves, so... He's very good throughout the game. He saved my first Nuzlocke. In the speed? Wait, no, I don't. Okay, right, you're dead. Salute. It felt good to have like a strategy. So now it's time to pull up your search engine of choice and type in Rock Tunnel Map. Oh, all right, so now we're out of there. You're welcome for skipping through that, by the way. After catching some less than exciting Pokemon, we oh, managed Vulpix to sell it off. Amazing. I accepted I love the gift of EV and decided to box it immediately because if our final team has any significant weaknesses, we can just evolve it. Then after tearing through Erica's gym with one silly little bird, it was time to collect TMs the only way I knew how. Yes! <laughs> and we won't use them until the end because oh I remember what happened last Wait. time. Wait. <laughs> Why don't just hack in the game corner coins at that point though? I've actually done that before. You can hack in game corner coins with PK Hex too. You can actually just directly hack in the TMs. You can hack in anything pretty much that you can buy. Like you can hack in department store TMs. Technically you can hack in TMs that aren't even from the department store. You can hack in like post game TMs if you really want to. It's time. But now it's time. But for the obviously most people won't hack in anything that they can't legally get at that point in the game like you wouldn't hack in the rock smash or surf tms here because you can't like get them yet that's not what people are, are supposed to use pk hacks for 
Rocket Hideout. And wow, that sure happened. Oh, and speaking of transitions, now we're in Lavender Town and fighting our rival. <laughs> wow, this is easy. So last run, I named Ghastly after a Pokemon of mine who has died. But if you look around, there aren't any deaths this run. So let's name Ghastly after what really dies when you sweat this hard. One dead mom joke later, and the past has finally returned to haunt me. If you remember in my last run, Sabrina is where everything went horribly, horribly wrong. We paved a path built in arrogance while dismissing the cracks of reality. At the time, I thought I played to my outs, but oh, how wrong I was. He has a almost unleveled Snorlax right here in the back, literally the clowns on this entire gym. Luckily, this is he just gonna have the overleveled Snorlax here? Well, I guess it wouldn't be overleveled, but. This time I had a plan. Uh, no friends. <laughs> but my actual plan was that our poison Diddy Kong was more than capable of. Oh yeah, that Sabrina's too. Entirely physically frail team. Yeah, so guts eradicate is just same so good. From us, I felt like the only way to protect the rest of the team was through our first sacrifice. Wait, 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 wait. He does not need to do that. He could have just gone down to Future City, gotten the strength to. Yeah. Does Radicate get outsped by Alakazam? Really? Does that happen? Hold on, let me look this up. Uh, going on the thing. Boom. Actually, no, you know what? No, even if Alexander has higher base speed, hack in EVs and just win. Though people tend to not like EVs anymore. I like them. I think they're based. I was willing to sack it. But with that future side, our beloved Radicate was spared by the horrendous AI. We collect our fifth gym badge of the perfect Nuzlocke. Never Still punished. Off. A master ball with zero deaths on the record. We were looking pretty good. We caught a Snorlax, collected a Super Rod, and swiftly made it to our next victim. And that's the sixth gem with only one death. Oof, oh god, I forgot to mention something. In Sylph Co, we unfortunately ran into our rival and a bit under level two. So we sacrificed our starter to make it out alive. And if you can't tell, I lost the footage. But nice. his blood served as a reminder. I mean, just always be candying. ABC. <laughs> Nuzlocks are uh, like and subscribe if you get the reference. <laughs> of emotion. Pokemon are no longer friends. They are weapons. Machines of mass destruction. <laughs> Is this how it's supposed to feel? No longer relating to the mortal shell disassociated by emotion? I had a choice to sack a weaker Pokemon, but I had to send a message to the rest of the team. If the starter isn't safe, nobody is this team works for me and not the other way around there is one way out of this run and it is through sacrifice our safari zone true yeah like nuzlocke when it comes down to it when you get in like the hardcore mindset it doesn't matter what you're sacrificing it's all about do you win the challenge that you set out to complete and i mean you can argue the ethics of that i mean obviously it's not like you're doing anything like bad it's they're just like like they're not real animals obviously but like there is sentimentality that a lot of people uh attach you know there's no wrong way to play pokemon whether as a nuzlocke or a casual playthrough or a solo run or anything like that as long as you're having fun and just like that, the first piece of our Elite Four team has revealed themselves. One of the strongest weapons we could possibly ask for. So after running a few errands, I had something a bit serendipitous happen to me on the way to Cinnabar Island. And by that, I mean I got lost. Only after running into the encounter of a lifetime. Wait, what? <laughs> um, actually, I mean, Slowbro is really good, to be fair. Water and Surf and Psychic, and I think it gets slack off too if you delay the evolution. Honestly, I don't think it's a bad idea to use the Master Ball and Slowpoke here. I don't think he needed to, but, I mean, if you're going to use it on anything that's not a Legendary, you might as well. I thought I would be highlighted on Pokeball, and I knew if I pressed down once, it would give me a Great Ball. But the cursor was on Great Ball. After making it to the island, we revived real sports. I mean, Dazzle, still a good thing, and though. Challenge At this point of the run, I felt like it was fine to start playing carelessly. Losing Pokemon doesn't break the perfect run. Their presence is replaceable, and their deaths are forgettable. We only have two simple gyms in our path, and an entire team waiting in the wings for the Elite Four. If they weren't making it to the finale... I bet PC's going to say this, and I'm going to say it here. Um, uh, a flawless run would be deathless. <laughs> I mean, I've done a deathless run of Emerald. Leaf Green is easier. I mean, if you really want to show yourself, Deathless Leaf Green at the very least. Let, let's see it sometime. 
Why would I care about their well-being? Each Pokemon we've caught so far serves one purpose and one purpose only, to make me a champion. If all of these sacrifices are intended, then how is it any short of a perfect Nuzlocke? This is a binary scale. Winning is a binary state of being. There is no gray area. I yeah, yeah, there is, though. <laughs> the... The, the amount of deaths that you have can be measured as a metric. If you have if you're in a position where you have to make those sacrifices versus someone who doesn't put themselves in that position and then gets out deathless, I mean that kind of proves that you played worse to begin with than where you had to make those sacrifices, such as under leveling your Pokemon to have to sacrifice your starter to your rival. You triumph a hero, or your story never gets told. Losers are not remembered. So when challenging the final gym, our masterful Slowbro quickly made works of everything Giovanni threw at us. Because when you come prepared, it's that easy. With one more rival battle separating us from Victory Road, why, that's a single right you sacrifice away. Good thing these things can be oh so easily replaced. In fact, I would even call this an upgrade. Now it was time to display our catalog of badges as I permitted access to this forsaken cave and had perhaps the most fateful encounter yet. In case you're unaware, perhaps one of the most infamous moments of Nuzlocking history occurred in my last run, and the whole world laughed. So how fitting is it that this lone soldier was our final encounter? Unfortunately, our Elite Four team has already been perfectly molded as if God himself smiled upon it. But what if we took Onyx? Well, if I were to do that, it would be the pettiest move imaginable. Wait. <sighs> and now it's time for the Elite Four. The Shades. Our first battle was against Lorelei. A Mac reference to what Jan does. With exceptional ease until handing off the baton to Slowbro to finish the job. Bruno quickly challenged us, but unbeknownst to him, that would be the last task he would ever complete. Slowbro returned to the field unsatisfied he had to share the spotlight, so naturally, he exterminated the rest of Bruno's team. Upon hearing the news, Akita did everything I wonder if Slowbro would die turning crits. Us, but it was an attempt of little merit from a third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate team. Her Gengar took the stage. Is that what did they really do against a Snorlax Shadow reference? Ball, switching around each each new obstacle. Eventually, it was up to Nidoking to speed this process along and leave Agatha and her team on the ground behind us. With one trainer remaining between us and the championship match, Lance better make this quick. Of course, dragons weren't going to be easy to deal with unless you were the hungry, hungry Slowbro, whose bloodlust has yet to be quenched. A few ice beams later, and Lance's last legs began to break and eventually collapse. It's time. It's finally time. A run built in redemption will soon come to an end. So the glasses were enough for the Elite Four, but... I think we need something a little more for the champion, right? Knowing that our rival was going to lead with Pidgeot, this seemed like a simple operation for Magneton. As expected, this would immediately drag out his ace, Charizard, who is four times weak to rock. Look, all he has to do is take one hit. He's going to die to the fire, the fire blast. Oh, I guess he had speeds. It didn't kill. Okay. So maybe Onyx does suck. Yeah. Okay, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Onyx is just that bad. Onyx, which, let's be honest, we're never living that clip down. Gyarados soon cleaned up the mess of Charizard swiftly before dragging Rhydon down to hell with him. When presented with a the better Nuzlocke would have called that, spoon, though. Snorlax delivered a finishing blow that would ring true for generations. Jan was getting desperate. An executor? <laughs> really? Is that all you have for us? This Oh, this is embarrassing. You are supposed to be a champion, but you're not even playing around my crit range. Oh, I see. You save your Gyarados for last. Out of sheer embarrassment. You know how this one goes, don't you? And just like that, the perfect Nuzlocke comes to a successful end. But is this the ending that I truly wanted? If I can be completely honest with you. Yeah, I still prefer using legendaries and losing. What is the meme? Hold on, what meme am I thinking of with Alpha Rad right now? It's this meme. Oh. But it's like Alpha Rad giving me another Nuzlocke video to react to. Oh, God. <laughs> that is um quite a frame to end on. Uh, anyway, my overall thoughts. Um, Not a perfect Nuzlocke. Could have played better. Could have gone Deathless. Uh, could have not brought Onyx to the Elite Four. If, I mean, if we're going to joke about being tryhards here, let, let's go. <laughs> oh, God. If 10 people comment about it, I'll do a Deathless Nuzlocke of Leaf Green. One attempt. Easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I guess. Like and subscribe or whatever.